Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna, and I am one of the contributors at usefidelity.com. I recently received a question from one of our members and it reads, What's better for a Roth, FZROX or FXZIX? Need some advice and help. I am rolling over pre-tax money into a Fidelity retirement account. Well, first off, I can certainly tell you that both funds are great, but they do have some differences and similarities. Let me help you break it down. There are three primary differences between FZROX and FX at IX. FZROX is a mutual fund from Fidelity that tracks the total U.S. stock market, while FX at IX is a mutual fund that tracks the S and P 500 index. The expense ratio of FX at IX is only 0.02%. This means for every $10,000 invested, you pay $2 to Fidelity each year. FZROX, on the other hand, charges no fee. Another difference between these two is their dividend schedule. FX at IX pays dividends every quarter while FZROX pays dividends at the end of the year. While this may not be a critical factor, it can still be necessary for some investors when choosing which fund to invest in. According to Morningstar, both of these Fidelity funds belong to the large blend category. This means they invest in companies with market values greater than $10 billion. Their portfolio also contains a combination of growth and value-oriented stocks. With no minimum initial investment, FZROX and FX at IX are perfect for those who are just dabbling into the world of investing. So, which is better? The Fidelity Total Stock Market Fund or the Fidelity 500 Index Fund? The answer is neither. They are both fantastic investments. The returns will be roughly the same. Both are good choices for long-term investing. One or the other is fine. They are so close together it is impossible to tell which will outperform the other, and it will be so minor as to be inconsequential. Just pick one, but pointless to own both. For me personally, I love the diversification that FZROX provides. It has over 2,500 stocks in its portfolio, including small, mid- and large-cap companies. I hope this video has been helpful. As always, feel free to visit our website at usefidelity.com to see more comparisons like this one.